What are you getting ready for, big girl? My nail school! You are my brother, you are my sister, made by the same guy, loved by the same heart. We've got to live love, we've got to give love. Butterflies in your tummy? No. You don't? Uh-uh. There's no Do you have caterpillars in your tummy? No. Cocoons? No. You don't have cocoons in your tummy? No. I always got butterflies in my tummy before a big test day. What else do you think I have in my tummy? Uh, alligators? Huh? You probably have alligators, like little bitty ones. What? Have those in my tummy. Well, of course, you might. Who knows? Maybe while you're sleeping, they Wait, slipped up your nose. Daddy, Look at this guy. He learned how to buckle and unbuckle this. Watch. Good job. I'm proud of you. Buckle. Now unbuckle it. Look at him. Look at this. Yeah. So I think Abram's going to be staying home with me, right? Yeah, the teacher, the, or the lady who set up Symphony's appointment, suggested that. Like if your child doesn't like to sit still, it's probably not a good idea to bring them during the assessment because we're just going to be waiting in the library. Do you want to help me work outside? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what a cute little man. What's the word of the day, Symphony? Um, big school day. No, the word of the day is obey. It's very important that you obey what the teacher tells you, okay? All right, it's almost time to go. Five more minutes. Are you excited to meet some new friends and your teacher? Do you want to know her name? Mrs. Morris. Can you say Miss Morris? Mrs. Morris. That's right. Oh, for once in my life, I'm leaving really, really extra early. We're probably going to be waiting for a while. Look how long her hair is getting, you guys. She looks so big. Okay, guys, go ahead and put your bets in. How many times do you think I'm going to cry? You think Mommy's going to cry? She's going to be jerky in her mouth. Sam's watching Abram and he's in the back. I don't know if he has him back there to distract him from us leaving or not. So I don't think I'm gonna go back there and get Sam. But I know he wants to tell Symphony bye. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> Cuff, are you nervous? Are you excited? I'm not, I've got some shoes on. Our kids are gonna go to big kids school today. Are you nervous? No. I'm so excited. I have just been so up and at it this morning. Just getting ready and getting her ready. So excited. What are y'all doing today? We're going to school. Are y'all happy to have each other there? Now you won't be strangers to everyone. You have a friend. This is a milestone in our friendship. We're taking our kids to assessment. Oh my gosh, it's time for them to be in school. We met in school. Oh yeah! And oh now it's God. time for them to go to school. How many times do you think we're gonna cry? I think we're gonna cry. No, I don't think I'm gonna cry. Oh, I bet she will. I've got a newborn that cries enough, I think. <laughs> they might not even get in, you know? True. Because the way the school works is like they have spots. I don't understand it though. If you have an older sibling that goes there, then the younger sibling automatically gets in, can, can go. So nice. there's 18 kids in the class. There's already nine older siblings, so nine spots are taken. So there's nine spots left. And pretty much at this level, they're just seeing if they can like sit, pay attention, how well they listen, um, you know, how they behave. Well, I guess they're being read a story and then like the after part when they're the kids like talk to each other. Oh, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Have we been having a lot of talks this morning in the car? What have we been talking about? About sharing my toys. And about what kind of attitude to have, huh? A happy. Yes. I'm just kind of nervous. Oh, don't be nervous, baby. Come here. Don't be nervous. <laughs> And Why are you nervous? What do you feel nervous about? I'm nervous because I'm nervous. But why? Don't be nervous. It's nothing to be nervous about. It's going to go great, okay? Okay. I love you. Give me a kiss. I love you too. Mwah. It's going to be just fine. You're going to do great, baby. I want to take a picture of her. I'm going to try to find a, a sign somewhere. Where do you think we should take the picture at? Um, that sign. Alright, stand right there so I can get the picture. Where do you want to sit with me? There's lots of new friends in here now. What do you think? Is it making you feel shy? There's a few new friends in here. Do you guys think that's your teacher? Yeah. Do you remember her name? Miss mm -hmm. Morris.
Morris. You can say hi, Miss Morris. Bye. Bye, puppy. Bye, baby. Bye. Okay. <laughs> See, I see it. Oh, I have to see the tears. They're coming. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. It's like an hour wait, and we're looking at readers. This is what they're reading in um, Symphony's age group right now. And within a year, they should be able to read the book, right? That's what I understood. They should be able to read the whole book. Tax bunk bed. The kids are done with their assessment and we are trying, it's like pulling teeth, trying to get them to tell us what happened in there. They don't want to budge. So did you guys read stories? Did y'all, Symphony. So did y'all read stories? Did you answer questions? Like what happened? Did you play? Okay. Did she take you by yourself and ask you questions? She did. What'd she ask you? What letter did she ask you about? Mommy. Oh, all sorts of letters? Okay. All sorts of them. Abram's really happy that we're home. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my goodness. I so love you. Come here. I get this greeting. What did you do? Oh, he's bending oh, down too. Baby, I'm right here. Baby. You don't have to bend down. <laughs> are you happy I'm home? Yes. You are. There wasn't in a, <coughs> there wasn't in a lady that, that swallowed fly. They read you a book? Were you with Cuff the whole time? Uh oh, sorry, Bubby. What else did they make you do? They made you write your name? Mama. What else? Did they make you color or anything? Uh huh. A shape, and then after we colored, and then everything. after we colored, we cut it. You did? They made you cut. She wouldn't they tell us anything. You colored shapes. <laughs> what else did they make you do? Did the teacher talk to you all by yourself? Yes. Did they make you count? Um, no. They did it. No. Did it make you count at all? That they told me letters. They told me what the letters were called. So they like gave you a letter and they asked you what it was? No, letters on paper. Yeah, so they showed it to you and you told them what it was? Did you know all of them? Did you know all the letters? Well, I didn't know one of them. Which one? Um, a number with one and... <laughs> Was it like 11 or something? Or 12? It was like a teen number? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Did they make you do any like jumping jacks? Did they make you do any push-ups? Well, I'm going to have to talk to that teacher. <laughs> Did they show you a clock? No. Did they show you a clock? No, oh, Sam. <laughs> How was it with you? That was good. I got a little bit done. He didn't want to hang outside with me very long. Why? Well, I mean, he stayed actually a little bit. He got all wet and dirty. Abram! Daddy is doing the roof. <coughs> you sleep down there, babe. Okay. Hi. <laughs> That's a cool shot. Can I have one? Uh. Please. Whoops. Nia ran to Home Depot for me and I thought they'd be sleeping the whole time and I could be working, but that did not happen. Abram woke up and just like total, to, had a total meltdown. Didn't he, Symphony? Symphony's like, I'm not going to listen to this. She left the room and closed the door. <laughs> You're a silly kid. What do you got, Symphony? A caterpillar! Look at that! There's a caterpillar! Okay, so Symphony went outside and she made a home for the caterpillar. She really wants to watch it grow into a cocoon. We still need to put some um, twigs in there, right? So turn around and I'll get the caterpillar off your back. And put it in its new home. Do you want to put it in the new home? You do it. Okay, there he is. It's a twig. Yes. So, like, so he can hang his cocoon. Exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking when I told you it needed a twig. 
going back in its new home. Look at it! You like the caterpillar, Abram? Do you like the caterpillar? It's so cool. It's so fuzzy. Do you guys see those hairs sticking off of it? Hey, little guy coming into focus. Hey! Gee. Take a picture of the caterpillar. Get your camera. Gee. Good job. Gee. All right. Let's see, put it right in there. Maybe we should break it. Because we don't, if we don't, do we want it to come up like that or do you want to break it so that there's two? I'm trying to make it so, so it could be easier for its cocoon to stay on. How about that? Oh, that's, that's cool. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Official, we're doing the brick. Ah! Are, wait, 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 wait. Are we sure? Are we sure? We are. Everyone says this to pre Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. I wish I could do some. This is the life right here, guys. You get an updated house and a really good show while you're at it. Wow. So are, are we going to paint the wood the same color as the brick unlike the previous owners of the house? That red wood right there? Oh, no. Oh. I kind of would like it to be solid. That. Good question, honey. Good you know I'm full of those. That's I'm, I'm really known for having good questions in case anyone didn't know that about me. <laughs> You have to back with a brick to get all the pores. Really? I'm gonna have to roll it and spray it. You are gonna be so busy. You have to go back to work in a few days. Try not to think about it, honey. Of all the places to step, I stepped right in a fire ant bed. There's a whole bunch of space for me to stand, and I stood in the fire ant bed. Gosh, <gasps> Tiffany is so cute. I heard her come over here and tell Abram, no, this is Pearlie's playground. So she's got the caterpillar over here with some leaves, and she's giving it some playtime. Sam? <laughs> You okay? <coughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna be all right. Good. This guy worked so hard today, all not day long. Not that hard, but kind of hard. <laughs> I mean, I worked pretty hard, just not like that hard. <laughs> what? I, I did. I worked really hard, just not like <laughs> you know, like that hard. <laughs> I mean, I worked really sticking hard out there. But I wouldn't say that hard. <laughs> We've we been sitting here picking colors. And we still haven't decided on one. I feel like we did. We went with this one and we were like, this is it. And then suddenly we changed our minds for well, a second. We were going to go with gray and a white, gray white type scheme and navy. navy. Navy accents. Mm -hmm. And then we remember our roof is red. Yeah, and gray might not look good with red, <sighs> red. on the roof. And then we started to think we should probably do earth tones because our roof is really earth tone ish. And then when you look at earth tones with a red roof, you pretty much are looking at a Mexican restaurant. Even Symphony said so. And what's wrong with that? Mexican food is awesome. Yeah, but not for your home. I mean, <laughs> really, the earth tones with the red roof is just... <laughs> well, thanks for coming along with us today. I hope it wasn't super crazy for you guys. I hope it wasn't, like, too crazy. Because it can get, like, so crazy <laughs> around here. It can. Yeah, but it can get two kids really and this woman? <laughs> Me! It can get pretty crazy. <laughs> you! But... We Don't love forget. you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And remember to love each other. What do you guys think of this idea? I cut these shutters in half and put each, like, the cut end to the ground and put it around the whole garden. That'd be really nice. I think that'll be enough. So only half of it would be, like, right here. It would look just like this, but it'd be lower. Would we take up these brick things? Uh, I don't know about that because that wood 